What is this? Yeah. No, you have no sugar. Let, let me test again. That's let me test just a little test. I, I need, I try to guess. <laughs> I'm guessing what it is. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Ride the Bean. Seth? Today, we have uh, skipped a couple of days ahead because the last few days we've just been doing, well, not, nothing interesting. Just been riding straight roads and uh, doing some maintenance. We uh, got our service done. Uh, Moon In now uh, has uh, done the 50,000 kilometer service and 10,000 10, for uh, Muddy. Was muddy. It, uh, is that the name that you gave GB. your bike? GB? JB. Yeah. He finally got a name for his bike, <laughs> JB. So JB now has 10,000 um, uh, kilometers and uh, Moon In 50,000. Last time, um, in the last episode, you saw uh, Pedro when we did a tour around uh, Lisbon. And since then, we've moved to the south of Portugal. If you remember when we were uh, going to Lisbon, uh, we, were, we were going there to have a coffee at a place called Bean 17 because uh, Dick and Lina, uh, also known as Tenere Travelers, um, they had bought a coffee for me at a coffee shop. And then it, uh, it turned out I had misunderstood. The coffee shop was not in Lisbon. It was uh, in Lule, in the south of, uh, of Portugal. Um, and we, we went back to the south to do the, um, the maintenance at some shops here because it was more quiet. Uh, and so now we are just uh, 15 minutes away from Lule. So today we're gonna go check out Bean 17, uh, the coffee bar, and see uh, if there's a, a free coffee for me there <laughs> and a piece of apple pie or, uh, or something. How are you? <laughs> for me. <laughs> Hopefully for you too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So yeah, today is just a boiling day. We, it's I don't know how many degrees, 35 degrees or something. Uh, I'm, from I'm sun, yeah, I'm probably dying. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, yeah, so. it's a 15 minute ride. So we're just going uh, very casually dressed today. <laughs> don't do that at home. No, don't do this at home. <laughs> Let's get on the road and have our uh, morning coffee. Mm. Oh, morning, it's one o'clock almost. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are in a place called Faro, <coughs> in the south of Portugal. Uh, like I said uh, in the video when we were going to Portugal, the, the reason I wanted to go to Lisbon was to have a coffee. <laughs> but for some reason, um, I misunderstood the location in Portugal or I misremembered it. Uh, but now, since uh, we had to go down here to get our services done, uh, Jonathan uh, didn't want to use the Triumph shop in uh, Lisbon because there was too many people there. He didn't want to ride through Lisbon, so we chose to ride 300 kilometers south instead and go to the Triumph shop down here by uh, in, in Lule, which is where this, uh, this coffee shop is. Lule, Lule. Sounds French. So, we're staying here for two days, um, and, and today we're uh, just chilling, I'm editing some video, and now we're having a, a little bit of a coffee break, uh, and then tomorrow uh, we're going camping again. But Jonathan and I only have um, like three days, three or four days left now together, until he has to... Uh, to head home to France and go back to work and everyday life. And uh, lucky me, I get to keep traveling for some time still. But now I'm really curious to see what this coffee place looks like. This must be Lule Center, Lule. Oh wow, look at that. That's a cool castle. What is this? Wow, that's cool. Huh. It's really pretty down here. Uh, seeing all the people chilling in the sun. A lot of tourists there though. 
probably more tourists than uh, Portuguese people. It's supposed to be here somewhere. Uh, in here? Is it here? Is it this one? I think it's supposed to be here. Let's just find some parking. Another adventure rider and some doggies chilling in the sun. Where can we park? All right, cool. Let's uh, try to find this Bean 17. So, uh, Dick and Lina are also known as the Tenere Traveler. They um, were here some months ago, uh, when I was in France, I think. And they sent me a message saying they had uh, bought a coffee and a piece of apple pie, I think, at a place called Bean 17 here in Algarve when they were passing by on their journey, because they are also traveling on Tenerys. Oh, it must be in here. There's a food, food hall or something. And uh, that's kind of the reason I came to Portugal, to have this coffee. So I have high expectations now. <laughs> this is the food market. It uh, looks a little bit like the food hall in Oslo. Well, no, not here. Yeah. That's the fish fish section. I can't walk through it. I get nauseous. I know. A Norwegian who can't stand fish and seafood. Not real Norwegian, am I? <laughs> it's a cool place. Ah. Must be here. The Yes. Bean 17. Awesome. This is the place. Hi. Uh, are you the owner here? Yeah. I was, uh, I don't know if you remember, but uh, yeah. some people some months back were here oh, and bought a coffee. Yes, coffee bit, yeah? absolutely. Uh, they were called Dick and... Kenneth? Yes, I'm Kenneth. Yeah. From Ride the Bean. You're from Richard. Yes. yes. You're a friend of Richard and he told me about you. Yes. You were going around and always busy yeah. with coffee. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Richard to Kenneth, right here, this is what he wrote to you. <laughs> yeah. That is Shall awesome. I leave it there and then you can, you can, you can do it on the board here. Or what you want. Oh, well, that's awesome. Richard uh, yeah. left a, a note for me. But he, he did forget what he paid. <laughs> so I, uh, I asked him to write it down. He said uh, 10 euro in, his, in the message oh, for me. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, then I, because I was just asking him. Ah, wow. <laughs> Thank you. So what do you like? That is awesome. <laughs> For 10 euros you can choose. Cool. Well, we're two people, so what do you have? Like, what is your... Uh... The specialty. For 10 euros, I would almost say two cappuccinos, but... Uh, well, do you have any... And then banana cake, and you have the two special things of the... Of the that house. sounds amazing. <laughs> but uh, do you have any, like, really special, really unique coffees? Really... Very smoothy, nice Peru El and I, I adapt the taste a little bit to the Portuguese taste. Okay. The cool. that I have here in the Algarve. That sounds perfect. Yes. yes yeah. Let's try. let's try that. Good. Yeah. Like with milk or without milk? Cappuccino is okay for you? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, I would like no, to taste the <laughs> taste the espresso as well, if I can taste the espresso. Yeah, but you can also do an espresso one. Yeah, I, but I'd like both. Both. Okay. You <laughs> do first cappuccino or? Yeah. Uh, just the first the espresso, first the espresso yeah, and then the uh, yes then exactly the awesome then one apple pie for you you like the banana cake yeah i'll yeah. try yeah, yeah. Both of them. <laughs> okay, perfect thank you. awesome that's awesome thank you so much richard that was uh that's <laughs> mm -hmm. so cool so strange thank you this looks amazing thank you Sugar in your coffee? No. no. Good coffee doesn't need sugar. That's why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> I destimulate the sugar. Okay, and just let me know when you like the cappuccino. Yeah, right away. Cool. Is this chocolate or real? Uh, yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a piece of uh, 
chocolate bean or mm. something. I don't know. It's a little bit darker than uh, than what I usually usually prefer. But it's really good. It's um, very round, like um, very nice body and mouthfeel to it. Not too acidic. What do you think? Not too acidic. It's true. <clears throat> yeah. You like it? It's not my favorite, but yeah. <laughs> this is kind of what I expect from uh, Peru. It's like nothing really, really stand out, but a, a decent coffee. So uh, I'm curious what it tastes with milk, though. Apple pie looks pretty good. Yeah, you got some banana cake and apple pie. This is the famous apple pie that. Uh, Richard mentioned. <laughs> right? Yeah, this is really nice. I'm not, not usually a fan of apple pie. I don't like apple in cake <laughs> for some reason. This is really nice. What is this? I know the test, but I'm not sure in English the name. It is chocolate, but it's. Um, Mixed with something. Yeah, it's a uh, pain d'épices. Hmm? A français pain d'épices. Gingerbread. It does not taste like gingerbread at all. Yes. Gingerbread? Yeah, definitely gingerbread. What kind of gingerbread have you been eating? Gingerbread. I, <laughs> in terms of food, I trust me. <laughs> not your tongue. <laughs> This is not gingerbread. Yes. No. That was really nice. Good. Yes. So where did you travel then? Where are you coming from now? Um, now we come from Lisbon. Uh, but we've been traveling from France uh, and down car, through. Or is it by, no, by uh, motorbike. 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 motorbike, yeah. of course. So. Even with the movie, also. <laughs> yes, where I have a YouTube channel where I document the whole journey called Ride the Bean. I'm r riding the coffee bean around the world. Riding the coffee bean? Yes. So uh, I'm a coffee roaster myself. I've been working in the coffee industry for 15 years and uh, I just, uh, yeah. Well, we just started roasting also the Peru. We have some help with this Peru. Yeah. So they get already the profile and everything. Oh, cool. But, yeah. yeah. It's interesting, very interesting. Actually. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't have the time, so my partner is, is doing it most of the time now. Yeah. Well, w what kind of coffees do you focus on here? Do you have any? Any style no, or no? We're just finding out. We I know of course the taste of the clients here. So um, the really light roast mm -hmm. so um, doesn't work here. Mm -hmm. I can sell it sometimes for you or for another person, and then it's all yeah. after two months. So um, I have to find this balance. Yeah. Um, and it needs to grow here that you have a regular group of people who wants to try different beans or not. But I, I try to have on the second grind, grind a lighter roast, but more fruity one. That's ah, cool. what I like to do. So you, you have two, two different ones now? Two grinders, yeah. Can I try the other espresso too? No, no, I don't have now. Oh, you don't have Yeah, them. no, okay. sorry. The Ethiopia I had, and it's finished. Now it's... Uh, and now we have samples and we have to decide which one. Ah. And that's the process that we have to do. Mm. That's uh, always a fun process. It is, it's a difficult and... one also. You need to have time for it and it's quite busy here. Yeah. So in a way I have to share my time to this and then to the roastery. Uh, how did you get into coffee? Uh, good question. Um, I'm coming from healthcare, so totally different backgrounds. And um, I always liked to be in cafes with coffee, even not especially good coffee maybe, but the ambience and the environment, the city experience, have some time for yourself or with friends. So I think it's more this that I wanted to have around me. And then I, I, I found out about the coffee and the specialty coffee, and all these people are so passionate about the coffee. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> and it's a beautiful project. If you go into it, it's yeah. like, wow, I didn't know. And you, you, if you don't go into it, you don't know anything about coffee. Yeah. Uh, so the, it, it, it catched me, did you say in English? Yes. 
culture right yeah culture right yeah quite well to yeah. me yeah <laughs> so uh, yeah and uh, six seven years ago and then my job finished and I said okay now I'm going to have my own specialty coffee bar somewhere not in Holland it's too cold too crowded to so a little bit more sun by accident in Portugal okay. Oh. What is your impression of the, the specialty coffee industry uh, after traveling, traveling with me for, <laughs> for so long? Mm. I, I, we, uh, <clears throat> I just really like, for me the only, when I notice the difference, just for one type of coffee, it's the, the style you make yours, and like the coffee seems like tea, yeah. because it's very different. And for me, I don't really like uh, like a coffee like this with a little bit of acidity and yes please even if the the taste I notice the difference of taste between them but for me it's not good it's not good it's, uh, even the black coffee I mean uh, we have in France I just take that for the cafe not for it's not good I learned how to make my own coffee if I want. With the, I'm going to call it again in English. Grinder? With the grinder and I know how to make it. Um, and I learned I yeah, only like this type of coffee. But. And I learned the yeah. The ambience in the coffee shop is if you if you plan to start a coffee shop, try to make something different about the decoration in your coffee shop because for me it's a, it's a, no, it's a, that's interesting. I don't feel the like coffee shops that we've been visiting are the same. They have similar elements, yes, but they're very different from each other. Some some are like the white the white thing. We find that a lot. Yeah, that's true. There are like a few st different styles, like four or five different styles, maybe. Yeah, yeah for me, they are. Yeah. The only very different we see is in Lisbon. Uh, when we see the old bag of coffee uh, on the ground. For me, this one is well, a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But the, all the white things, like Nomad, uh, it's always the same. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's interesting how like most coffee shops have very similar themes. Like you, you have like five five templates to choose from, and then you sort of uh, yeah, that yeah, that's that's kind of true. Thank you. It's great. What is yeah. this? No, you have no sugar. Let, let me test again. That's let me test just a little test. I, I need. I try to guess. <laughs> I'm guessing what it is. <laughs> Nice coffee bean, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel the taste of chocolate, but for me it tastes like gingerbread. Gingerbread? Yeah. Do you agree? I didn't taste so well this chocolate beans. <laughs> I have to do it again. <laughs> so after because it is, a, it's, it is something that we use in Holland often. Yeah? yeah chocolates oh. in a bean. So they, do, they don't know it here. We have those th things in Norway as well. Uh, yeah. We call them mocha beans. Yeah, it's it's the mocha bean. Yeah. Yeah, because it's science is on the mocha bean. Yeah. Yeah, that's a better better name for it. I don't understand why you get gingerbread. Yeah. yeah. I have I have the chocolate in first, <laughs> in my mouth, and just after, gingerbread. You you agree that when you eat gingerbread after, you have a taste like yeah, you, you, heat. Yeah. I, it's I, the same. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> it's exactly the same. The um, cappuccino tastes like. Milky drink. Is it the cappuccino? Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's good. But it's, uh... I just need a little bit of spray cream on it. And what a little, the bit, fuck of, are you little bit of chocolate. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but you don't like that. <laughs> no. 
Nine's gonna be cappuccino. But this is a cappuccino. This is a no, cappuccino. I know. It's a it's a third coffee, a third milk, I and know. a third foam. But for me, uh, you put chocolate. I'm on the it. kind of person <laughs> it's not I a like cappuccino uh, anymore. I'm the kind of person I like the pineapple of pizza. So yeah, yeah, that's fine. That doesn't matter. Mm. Then it's a pizza with pineapple, but it's not a margarita. But the, yeah, but yeah. it's still a pizza. Yeah, it's still a pizza, but it's not a margarita. It's still a coffee with chocolate. It's, it's a cappuccino. It's a cappuccino. It's a cappuccino with pretty cream and chocolate on it. No. <laughs> no, but I, I know what you what you mean. <laughs> Yeah, a cappuccino is this, a third of each. If you put chocolate on it, it's not the same drink. It can still be good and you can still like it and it's still fine, but it's not a cappuccino. Then it's something else. I don't know what you call a cappuccino with chocolate on it. You just make up a weird name for it. But a cappuccino should have chocolate on it. <laughs> You should never put sugar in it if people don't ask for it. It should no, never be the standard. Yeah, of course, of course. If you ask the cappuccino, it will be down there. And if you want something else, you yes. ask. Oh, yes. Yes. It's like the same the... Uh, on the on the pizza, but yeah. Because the base is the same for me. It's still a cappuccino because the base is the same. But if you add something else, you call it cappuccino with something. That, that, that I can agree with, but it's not the standard. No, no, it's not the standard, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Blueberry. Blueberry. That's not a sweet blueberry. <laughs> I think I've been spoiled. The blueberry, <laughs> the Norwegian blueberries uh, take uh, all summer to, to ripen. Mm. They are the sweetest you'll find anywhere. I like your grinders, the Malconi grinders. Malconi, yeah, I love them. They're quick. Uh, a pink espresso machine. That's yeah. cool. That's that's another story also. <laughs> I didn't know about this, but it's a second hand. Oh yeah. From uh, Alleborg, that's the distributor in Holland. Okay. And I was there and I said, oh, I'm starting a business here. I don't have so much money, so can you help me? And yeah, well, I have one in my in my sh in my shop, and we just drink coffee for one year, so it was not really uh, really heavy. Mm -hmm. Uh, used and I said okay okay and um, I didn't see the machine so he sent it to me I got some transport from Holland to here and then it came out of the box and I was like oh my god it's it's pink <laughs> <laughs> I was like okay do I like this and, I think it's uh, cool it is because I was in that the same time I was busy with the guy who um, set up this store here okay so it's a large it's a grocery with this palace it's not my colors. So everything is from somebody else here. Oh, really? I just moved in. I had my own business in it now with the specialty coffee. And then the machine was coming in. I was like, wow, but that's just for here. <laughs> it's made for, for this place with this yeah. blue and or uh, pink. And, and the ambience of the vintage thing is also his. And I love it. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, <laughs> so so it's, it's for here. Yeah, it made it like the, Great. So uh, by accident, it was good. And now I get used to it, and it's it is kind of special, eh? So. Did you smell it already? I smell yeah. it. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yeah, I love this. The, the smell of natural coffees is yes. just insane. Yeah, and every time when I use this bean, it's 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 uh, it's a very special bean. Well, I, I thought maybe it would go faster, but it goes well. Okay, this is a, a little bit of an old coffee from the March, um, so it's it's probably lost uh, its its peak peak flavor, but oh, that's nice. You see this uh, underlying fruitiness, like um, like a, the, 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 like raspberry or um, cherry. She made it. You smell the pretty thing in the the whole shop. That's yeah. Like natural coffees are just insane. I freaking love them. Well, that's actually a pretty pretty good shot for an old coffee and a random uh, random brew like this. It's really nice. This place is pretty pretty cool. If you're ever on the uh, Algarve coast uh, near Lule, then this is the place to go. Very good coffee.
What do you think of this one compared to the other one? It's more fruity. Mm -hmm. um, but the acidic thing again for me is too much. That's what you don't like. It's the uh, acidity. Yeah, and take all the taste for me. Mm. Just it's too strong. It's something you you have to get used to. For me as well, in the beginning, it was like very overpowering. But when I sort of learned to taste it and sort of get past that that first reaction, then I started noticing the flavors in it, and I started appreciating. Right, it is the flavor of it. Yeah. No, it's preference. Yeah. It's cool. This was a fun visit. Yeah. Awesome friends. <laughs> Thank you, Richard and uh, Lena. This was a, uh, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> Imagine, they sent us this message uh, a couple of days before you got your um, uh, your bike. Yeah. And uh, oh, I think it was like right around the time yeah. you got your bike. It was it was amazing. Yeah. It was, it, 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 yeah. It was. You, you can you can feel that it's uh, it's not yeah. optimal, but it's still really really nice, really sweet. Uh, well balanced, it was maybe a little bit under extracted. It felt a little bit. Uh, That's true. Twenty three seconds. Yeah. Yeah. And I put it already on forty eight. So. Uh, yeah, but yeah. but it yeah that's yeah. for for what it was, really really yeah. nice. Yeah, Thank it's you. Amazing then that this bean is still in the because you smell it also still. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. The whole room smells. He smelled it from here. So. I wasn't really going planning on going to Portugal, but. Um, a free coffee is uh, a good a reason as any to <laughs> to visit a place. It's uh, how far is it? Like two thousand kilometers from France? Yeah, uh, we've been riding five six thousand kilometers. I think more than that. Yeah, by us. Yeah, you have ten thousand on your bike now. So uh, and we do the first one thousand in. Yeah, that's in true. France. So we we've actually driven ten thousand kilometers to have a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 kilometers for a free coffee. That's uh, it's not worth the price of the gas, but <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for uh, yes. for the tastes and everything. It was really fun. Thank you, of course. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, that was really fun. <laughs> oh, nice. Absolutely worth. Uh, 10,000 kilometers for this uh, this experience, I think. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode uh, too. It was a little bit uh, short and quick, but it was fun. Uh, if you did like it, give me a thumbs up and hit uh, subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see what happens next. Now we have uh, two more days together before Jonathan has to leave. So I think we have planned one uh, one more video or two more videos uh, together uh, so if you want to see that then uh, check it out when it comes on the channel and we'll see you in the next episode peace, peace.